Come in, my friends. I see you've already met my cat, Skunjili. And if you don't know who I am, let me give you a clue. Oh, but I experimented with a new technique, and the painting was ravaged by time. It looks fun. Working with Michael Frith was something that I think few writers can hope for. I mean, you're, you're, you're working with somebody who can make a character that you've roughly imagined come to life in so many more dimensions. Traditionally, um, we started working together back when he was doing Treasure Island at, at the Muppets. And since then, we've been doing all puppet projects together. So this is a really neat new way of uh, interpreting his designs, making it do different things. It's a new invention. Leonardo da Vinci, it, it, one of the things that's really uh, so cool about this project is just the uh, opportunity to go back and uh, explore this guy a bit. He is such a mythic figure. I mean, it, it's like, um, it's, it's very hard to even begin to grasp who he really was, this guy whose uh, accomplishments uh, bestrode virtually uh, every aspect of art and science that we uh, know today. He's such a force of creativity even now that I think it's a, it's a real tribute to him that we jumped into this project with such enthusiasm. Everybody we talked to is fired up about it. He experimented in so many art forms, so many scientific forms. It seems that there was nothing that he could not turn his Renaissance imagination to. What? No, not Michelangelo! I am Leonardo! Leonardo da Vinci! Michelangelo? How could you think such a thing? <laughs>